services you you work within, what you do as councillors, um, how we the young people can make choices. Like as, as we know, democracy is all about the choice. I'm not going to lecture to you because you know it's all about the choices <coughs> you make. So that's it. It's a bit of fun for you to get to know them, then to get to know you. Have they got questions? They would. Have they got questions? They're going to answer. Yeah, they're. Yeah, they've been thinking about things that affect them. Just going groups of five. Just five. Start with me, it's So, you know, moving out to a parents' house and looking for a council house to live, then I'm in charge of that. doesn't mean I personally say, hey, it's one for you, but I just play supervise what it's there for this people. Give them a stay. So, briefly about Jade. Uh, you know, down the parks, like parks anywhere, why aren't there enough? Because there's like all lit on the floor everywhere, but there ain't enough bins. Like, so why aren't there enough we have to do it on balance with the amount of maybe on site in that will make the place big. So but when we put the bins in before when we were doing the park before people attend, so we only want a little amount of dog bins and a little amount of rubbish bins. So we would have taken that view before. And that's what we're doing. Right. You, you, you see the place like that in the days. Um, we do, our parts can be broke, there's lots of money being pumped in from part of the government. And one of the pieces of work is the free food. There's still a lot more to go. Um, and where we're at now, it's cool. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 there again. So we don't get to no. Yeah, we, uh, we stay, but it's not enough people, and we know that there's enough people. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who wants to start? How are you? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. <laughs> They've been having reduced the um, and average age of councils on Thurrock Council by about 20 years. I'm 21. Um, I was elected at 19. Um, I represent Stamford I hope. I don't suppose you're going to Stamford are they? Fair enough. And um, I've been involved in um, young people's politics and youth engagement for four or five years since 2005. And uh, actually the youth cabinet badges you've got there, I was the chairman of that in 2007. So I helped set that up. So young people in politics and young people's engagement in general is something that's really passionate to me. Um, that's a bit about me really. Um, elected at 19, got rid of one of them. Uh, and uh, yeah, so we've got any questions? I mean, what are the issues that are important to you guys? Um, how are you planning to um, get... Um, sorry. <laughs> um, how, are you how are you going to um, boost the transport facilities? Have so you guys all got issues with transport as well? Yeah. Yeah. That's what one of the guys over there was saying. When I was in UK Youth Parliament, which is a national, anyone heard of UK YP? Yeah, it's a national young people's organisation from 13 to 19 year olds. It kind of mimics the parliament and the way things work. And one of the biggest issues for me was transport for young people. Because, like, I was just saying to those guys, we uh, astronomical fees, right? So, in first group buses, you end up having a bunch of 16, you end up having to pay full adult fare. And if the bus driver doesn't think, you know, you're 12 and he thinks you're 16, he'll make you charge full price. Whereas you see pensioners get free bus travel, free bus passes, and special allowances for disabled people. But what about extending the scheme of the free provision of public transport to two young people with a generic card? Well, we've got generic card schemes, but we have to pay for them. <laughs> it, it just doesn't seem, you know, logical. And this is one of the main issues, and I actually was part of the campaign. We took this very issue to Parliament. 
into Downing Street in the form of a petition in 2007. So I can totally sympathise. Schemes like that are quite expensive, and obviously we talk about budget priorities and money. Uh, that's one of the issues. So we're saying about prioritisation, um, and it is a problem. But I mean, you may have seen the um, I think they're called Ingle bus services, the big blue ones right yeah. from Tilbury. They're quite cheap, and they're good. But I think they're probably. Much I get more. them every morning. Yeah, so because they're cheap. Yeah, they're yeah. much cheaper. So if you're going to take the liberty of that, I mean, it depends how much you guys use buses. I mean, when I wasn't driving, I used to get the bus a lot to and from school and from college, and it was quite expensive. So paying ten pounds for the card, which we can get you through the council, was quite a worthy investment. I mean. You know, in my wallet, I've got student rail card, student bus pass. I mean, because you know, you get your money back because you do a lot of travelling. But um, it seems far fetched to me that when everyone's going on about global warming and you know, climate change, which is a very important issue, so they want to be getting people on for buses and on for trains and improving the services, but every year they hike up the yeah, yeah. So you say, well, where's the logic in that? But I mean, it is frustrating. I want to bang the head against the table. You realise when you get to the other side and you've got to start doing things, you've got to try and fix things. So it's very difficult because I say to you, I say to the council, we should extend the free uh, bus passes for young people under the age of 16, generically. And then all the older ones, I'm going to go like that. Turn around and go, for Rockingham, so I'm actually on my home territory. Alright, um, we've had the new, the free bins, like the brown bin, the green bin and the blue bin. Yes. I think that's a brilliant idea, but, and the, like, the worst one, the one that smells the worst, the brown one, as being collected every fortnight and even when they say that I think it was probably just teething issues like just starting but it wasn't delivered and we had to actually my mum called the council and said can it be collected so it was collected two days later yes and we put it out this Monday which is when it's supposed to be collected and it hasn't been collected or I think it was the blue one hasn't been collected yeah I'm, I'm to, to be totally honest I'm not entirely sure what the programme is for, for, for collection on there um, because obviously it, it's been rolled out fairly quickly but it is something that there's been a lot of issue about um, there's been a lot of complaints about whether or not people actually have got anywhere to store free it's about where, where the bins are going to go um, when they're empty are they going to be left on the, on the, on the, on the footway um, leaving, leaving, leaving them to be a you know, has it to, to officially impair people and to people, you know, yeah. we've had to put ours down our alleyway because, <laughs> and our next door neighbour, because it's in the way and it doesn't look very nice. No, I, I, I agree with you. I think I think we need to recycle. There was no, 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 no getting away from it. But my personal opinion is perhaps the thing is a lot of um, and little consideration was given to I understand if you've got a family in a household you need you need a big bit. Yeah. If you're like my mum who lives in a house on her own, um, she probably has been emptied once a wind blue moon. Um, so you know, in the end of the day, but if there is issues about about the bin being emptied, then and the LBC is correct, you go to the council and, and say, you know, what's going on here.